So why Hanford? Have you ever wondered why? Why is Hanford out there? Anybody ever had that question? Yeah? Anybody know? Anybody have any ideas? Well, it was the most secretive place they could find, is what I was told. Yeah? Why do you think it was secretive? Because it was a lot of open land. Yeah? Very good. That's exactly right. Didn't they also choose that place because it was right next to Columbia River and they needed to cool down the reactor? Yeah, exactly. They, uh, they needed actually 70, uh, well, in operations later on in the Cold War, they needed 75,000 gallons of water per minute. So picture if uh, everyone in uh, Richland or Kennewick had a gallon of water, and that's how much they needed in one minute. So, thank you. Well, I was going to say because it's far out in the middle of nowhere, and so it's um, safer for people to live in Richland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there weren't people around. If they were doing this dangerous stuff, then they couldn't have people around. Disguise it by building a whole bunch of fake houses for like, people that were flying over. Well, they, they did try to um, confuse people that would fly over. The, the thing that I heard about it was that they built things exactly alike in different areas. And so it all looked similar um, if they were to fly over. They actually had anti-aircraft artillery at the base of some of the mountains around here. So if anyone were to fly over, and if it was an enemy, then they could shoot them down, potentially. They didn't have that problem, thank goodness. But yeah, um, a lot of the houses looked alike, too, here in, in the center of town. You've probably heard of government houses, A houses, B houses, so things like that. So, so yeah, they, did, they didn't want people who were flying over to know exactly what was going on. Any other ideas? Those are great ideas. So yeah, we're just going to add a few of those. Um, they wanted it, you were right, about being remote. They didn't want it anywhere near people. So we, had, we couldn't be up near Seattle. We couldn't be um, down by Los Angeles or anywhere because there's too many people there. So they wanted to be remote. The problem with being remote in the middle of nowhere is you can't get people here if you need them. You can't have your, get your supplies here if you need them. So the interesting thing about this area is that we had a railroad right in Pasco. So they could get people here, they could get supplies here, so they still needed some sort of transportation to get people here, even though they wanted to mill nowhere. The Columbia River was important for another reason, too, is because they needed hydroelectric power. Cooley Dam provides that. So energy from the water, too. And uh, let's see. And really, um, and it says also available fuel and concrete, so they needed materials that were here as well. Um, ultimately, the decision that was made, there was this colonel, who flew over the area and he said there's nothing like it in America. This is where it's going to be. This is where we're going to have it. And so his decision, along with all of this other criteria, said this is, this is where it's going to be.